Welcome to the HC Nation, your monthly magazine for good news. We're starting tonight's show with great news from HCHS. Here is senior Alex Beam with the scoop. Hey guys, it's Alex Beam here with HCHS Phillies wrestling coach Josh Ashbrook. The Phillies re recently wrapped the season up with a state championship. Ma coach Ashbrook, can you give everyone the details? Sure, it was a great year. We finished with seven state placers three state finalists, actually four state finalists, in Desiree Cuve, Jenny Fortner, Layla Davis won her uh, second state title, and Kirsten Griggs finished as a state runner-up. She is now a three-time state placer as well. Seniors were losing. It, Peyton Slade, Jalen Mitchell, and Catherine Lamb, those are three big contributors that we're going to miss, multiple state placers in that lineup. Um, but very – Overall, very pleased with how we finished up the year. We didn't get to compete a lot this year, so it was great to have all those girls out there competing and, and fighting and uh, just putting on for Harrison County. We finished with, I think, 29 girls competing uh, with seven state placers, and that was enough to win, bring home the state title. So it was really cool to do that. It was a collective effort. Everybody put points on the board, so it was great to see our girls finish strong. And now we got to reload and prepare to win another state title next year and keep the, keep the dynasty alive. So that's the plan. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Coach Ashbrook. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Alex. Continuing on with HCHS Sports, congratulations to the Thoroughbreds basketball team. They won the 38th District Basketball Tournament 70 to 45 over Robertson County on February 25th. Great job, Reds. Next up, we have HCHS senior Demi Lemons with news out of Eastside Elementary School and the academic team. To you, Demi. Hi, I'm here today with part of the Eastside Elementary School academic team, and I will allow them all to introduce themselves. My name is Patty Cummins, and I am the coach along with Shara Hoskins of the Eastside Academic Team. Hi, I am Isaac Powers. I am a written assessment taker of math and social studies, and I am the captain of the Quick Recall Team. Hi, my name is Reese Trimble, and I'm on the FPS team. And Miss Patty and Miss Hoskins, they've taught me a lot, and... When Miss Patty walked up to me that first day, she asked me if I wanted to be an FPS, and I was really excited, and I told her yes, and how far we've come, it's just such a blessing to have them. When I, I started a year ago on an academic team, and I was the only fourth grader who did it that year, I was part of the quick recall team that year too. And I feel so glad that I get to come back this year and do some more, represent my school, and show them how good I am and how I'm going to accomplish major things in the future. FPS was really challenging for me, and I like challenging things. When we went into district, it was kind of easy, and Miss Patty told us that in the star, it would be really hard, but when we got into regionals, it was really simple to do, and it's just really good to have Miss Patty to teach us because she's a really good coach to me and all my friends that are in the, on the FPS team. Me and Isaac are just so grateful to have all these teachers that have taught us all these years, um, and we're just really thankful to have this opportunity, and thank you for letting us talk to you. Bye. Alrighty, and recently Eastside Elementary Academic Team went to regionals, and I will let them explain that to you. Our team uh, consists of students who take tests, students who are on the quick recall team, and students who are on the future problem solving team. Uh, we competed at district. Each person who takes an academic test, if they place in the top five, our team gets points for that. If our quick recall team places um, in the top four, they get points, and the top two teams move on to regional. 
and then our quick recall team and our future problem solving team uh, both came in first in district so they both moved on to regional in regional um, Isaac placed second in social studies which uh, there were about 20 schools so that was a, a really grand accomplishment and our future problem solving team um, re received what got first place so with those points all added together we came in fourth uh, overall at regional and we also and this is something we are so proud of miss hoskins and i our team um, received the hume award which is the sportsmanship award and all the teams uh, vote on that themselves so it's a real honor to get that award well, that's very nice, and congratulations to all of you. Uh, it's nice to see all your awards, and I'm sure everybody's very proud of you. So go east side. I'll send it back to you. Hi, I'm Harrison County Speech Team member Cameron Jones, and this past weekend the speech team competed at Kissel, the Kentucky State Speech Tournament. My teammate Kathleen Clark semifinaled in prose, and myself and Demi Lemons quarterfinaled in broadcasting. It was a great experience, and I was so happy to be back competing. So I hope to see the Harrison County speech team alive and thriving in the 2022 and 2023 school year. Hi, I'm Major John Montgomery. I'm one of the ROTC instructors here at the high school and the rifle coach. I just wanted to talk to you today about how proud I am of these guys. This is my team one that just uh, finished 16th in the world for Air Force ROTC teams. Uh, the, the competition is really amazing. They start out worldwide. Everybody sends in their scores electronically and we made the cut when we did that to get invited to a regional match in Ohio where these guys uh, did, did great and we actually ended up finishing 16th in the world that way and uh, just super proud of them. Our program is designed to uh, teach the cadets about rifle safety, uh, also help them uh, with their competitive spirit, give them an avenue to exercise that competition and also we wanted to uh, help them with their concentration skills, focus, and that type of thing. And they've done tremendously this year. I'm Major John Montgomery. Hi, I'm Donald Eckler, uh, Cadet First Lieutenant in 12th grade. Hi, I'm Ayanna Hogue. I'm a Cadet Airman First Class, and I'm a freshman. Hi, I'm Cadet Frazier Daly. I'm a Major and a Junior. I am Cadet Matthew Taylor. I'm a Major, and I'm a 11th grade. All right. Thank you so much for letting us talk to you today. I just wanted to tell you about the success this team had this year. We just finished a, uh, a worldwide Air Force J. Rossi National Championship match where the team finished 16th out of 106 teams. They did great this year. Super proud of them. Um, they met the goals that the program has for them, which is to, to uh, give them an avenue to, to exercise their competitive juices, if you will. Also, uh, teaching them about rifle safety, and in addition, uh, exercising the character skills that you need to perform well at this sport, which is specifically self-control and concentration. And they did a marvelous job this year. I'm Matthew Taylor, uh, talking about the successes with the uh, rifle program at ROTC. We had a really good run this year. Uh, we had six matches this year, and locally, we were currently undefeated, which is a very proud of this team, very proud of everything that's going on this year and I can't wait till next year to go on. Huh. I really enjoy working with all the our marksmanship team one-on-one -on -one and being able to get to know them and actually work on how they perform. I'd like to talk about um, one of our competitions. It was Russell County. We had a whole lot of fun there. It was another Air Force school that we got to shoot against. We had a lot of fun, got to connect with them well. We got to have a lot of fun shooting against them. Your competition. Um, something that I really like about the marksmanship team is when we do things other than shoot at targets, like when we shoot at cards and other stuff. Uh, one time we shot them and, well, like that, went right through it. Um, and yeah, it's really fun. Uh, bring me down.